He's got an enormous uh, personality, so you need that. Uh, I, listen, Trump has been a once-in-a-lifetime kind of force. Uh, it is true that, that people predicted the influence of money would be ever greater after Citizens United. That hasn't been the case uh, in the case of Trump, but it's the case pretty much everywhere else in politics. You need money to run campaigns. Um, unless you have this, this uh, ability to grab onto earned media, this sort of free media attention by virtue of your outsized personality, as Mr. Trump has, um, unless you have that, you really do have to buy it. And that's, um, and that's only going to come through major donations and significantly through large fundraising networks. But it's also amazing, you know, the paradox is in, in uh, American politics, the person with the biggest checkbook doesn't always win. In fact, traditionally doesn't win. Time and time again, you have seen candidates that have actually outspent their opponents to only lose or self-finance their way yeah. to hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, Jeb Bush had a super PAC, $120 million. Yeah. And I think he got about 3% of the electorate. But we've seen it over and over again in, in Senate candidates and other candidates. You need money to stay competitive and you need need money to put the, together the organizations uh, to put on a, a, a contestable contest, but it does not always say that the person with the biggest uh, purse wins. Yeah, you have to, it's how you spend it too. I yeah. mean, you know, I mean, Romney had a, a lot of money in 2012. He just spent it terribly. Um, he, he bought very expensive advertising versus President Obama, who used his, his advertising budgets much more creatively and, and uh, you know, tactically.